Ugh. Really didn't want to put it on this channel. I'm just trying to figure out some things. Hello, hello. I didn't want to come live on here today. I wanted to go live with just my patroners, but I guess I'm going to have to do that another time as soon as I figure out what the heck I'm doing. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. But what the hell. I might forget it. I give up. I give up. Forget it. I don't even know how this whole life thing on Vimo works. I have no idea how this thing works. I'm assuming I'm live on Vimo and I'm live on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. I I don't know how this thing works. Don't get me to lie, y'all, because <laughs> this supposed to be private with my patrons, but then I couldn't even get the stupid thing to work. So I was like, oh, forget it. I was like, okay, so I just go ahead and do a private link and just have my super uh, members on my truth show see it, but then I couldn't even get it to be un disconnected with the Facebook. I don't even know how I even got connected with not Facebook, but I'm sorry, the Keisha's gossip. So here I am. And it just keeps showing up on Keisha's gossip. I don't it was unlisted several times. I done deleted several times. So anyway, you guys can hear me right. I was like whatever I might as well just continue on with here because whatever. It's supposed to be my patroners. I wanted to do a private Q and A this is what I wanted to do, a private Q&A with my patroners and stuff like that, but that didn't work out so well. Anyway, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me any questions right now. I don't care. I was on uh, TikTok. And you can just come up on TikTok, but that's not working. So if you have any questions, you know what to do. This is the best time to ask. <laughs> this is the best time to ask if you have any questions. Because. Hey, how you doing, Nap? I just saw you on the last live feed. You came in late, though. This is supposed to be to my patron, but consider it as a trial running. Next time I have it all figured out and um, we won't have to go through this nonsense. <laughs> but if you want to call in, this is just a Q&A. This is not a scripted video, just a Q&A. So if you have any questions that you want some advice about something personal that has nothing to do with what we talked about today, this is the time to do it because... I have the time today, and I'm in a chatable mood for now. <laughs> so how's everyone doing today? I see, is it Mia Stallings? How you doing? I'm glad you're on. Well, it is, well, Nap, it is supposed to be on live, though. It's supposed to be, I just wanted to do kind of like a one-on-one -on -one with my patroners, you know, my patron people. Before the month is in, you know, appreciating everyone. But I couldn't get the damn link to work right. It was working on my nerve. I've been working on this thing for an hour. So, I'm like, forget it. I'll just do it on here and then next time I do it later. Hey, don't let the smile fool you now. Just the smile. It's not, you know, don't let it fool you. <laughs> it's because I'm smiling. Let's mean everything is great. You know, you can hide a lot of things underneath a smile. Oh, yeah. Just smiling. How are you guys doing? Oh, 
Well, anyway, <clears throat> um, if a lot of you didn't know, I'm just going to give a little insight. I am a vegan. I don't eat meat. Uh, I do, however, eat cheese sometime. I'm obsessed with sour cream and onion chips and regular chips. Can't help it. I love it to death. I, have, I think I have a problem. I, sh I should probably go, you know, do something about that. But I love chips. Especially sour cream and onion chips. I can eat those every day and, not, and never get sick of it. And cookies. Except for chocolate. I don't like chocolate. I don't like full chocolate cookies. I don't like a lot of chocolate, period. It has to be diluted with something, you know, like a peanut butter or vanilla or something. I can't eat pure chocolate. It just makes me vomit. I know, it's crazy. I'm a huge, huge fan of Italian food, vegan Italian food, and Mexican food. Vegan Mexican, of course. I love Mexican food. I can eat it every day. I have a yeast deficiency. Deficiency, excuse me. So I can't eat a lot of bread or dough or anything or I'll start breaking out. And it's a little insight about me. If you guys have saw my private journal and testimony on TikTok and I think I posted on Instagram in terms of my marriage, it's, you'll be seeing some changes within the next three months. That's all I have to say about that. What do I use in my hair? Oh, I just got something today. Oh, shoot. I took it upstairs. Oh, man. Anyway. Um, it's olive oil spray. I use olive oil spray in my hair. And I wash it with... Uh, I don't have it here. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. I did have it here. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Um, shoot. Oh, yeah. I do have something here. I do. Hold on. No, that's not it. That's something else. Never mind. Sorry. I don't have it. But anyway, I use the olive oil spray on my hair. <laughs> And I use the cream, cream of nature, I think that's the name of it. It's a perm, but I use it to flat iron my hair. I use it to straighten my hair because my hair gets really, really curly. Not 4C curly, it's just curly. You know, um, like um, Meghan Markle. I use that on my hair sometimes. Other than that, I just blow dry it straight. I blow dry it straight every day. All the time. I have to do that. At my desk, because I work from home a lot, I have all of my essentials at my desk, literally. See, these are my flat irons, as you can see, because I have to use them all the time. It's kind of sad. And I use this it's probably going to show up messed up but yeah I use that in my hair see and I curl it And to get the curls to stay right, I do use, you know, for, you know, for my baby hair, you guys are wondering what my baby hair, for my baby hair, I use, hold on, Let's see if I can, okay, because I have the green screen behind me, uh, let's see, it's not going to show right. No, it's not going to show, but it's got to be glue. Anyway, that's what I use for the style it to get it to stick sometimes. It looks, it, it takes a lot to get it healthy and thick. My hair is 
<laughs> I told you my father is root from the rooter to the two to African. Yeah, uh huh. The good, you know, the mix mix I come from um <laughs> my mother. Yeah, that's what I use, Mrs. Mo yeah, I use that for my baby hair sometime, and for my, you know, my ponytails that I do at work. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had a perm in a long time, but I do blow dry my hair. But sometimes a perm do work. I don't recommend it though. But the the cream of nature perm, I get the, I get the regular kind, you know, so it can stay straight for a long time. That blow drying stuff and it, it's, it don't it don't no no my hair be right back curly and all over the place within two three days. I'm like, I don't got time for that. I mean, like, no, I can't do that. So, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. You have any more? Oh, you 4C? Okay. 4C is the really tight curls, right? I'm assuming that's what 4C is. And thank you for saying my hair is um, healthy. Thank you. Takes a lot for it to get this way. Yeah, you can call in if you want to. I was actually looking at some kind of news, but I didn't want to get into news. I'm sick of talking about news. But let me see. Let me get rid of that. This here. Uh, get rid of that. Put that up there. Anyway. Um. Yeah. You're currently being raped by Joe Biden. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm not sure if I should share this. I'm assuming you thought a metaphorical, right? Um, go crazy, whatever your name is. I have really thick hair this summer because of the. I know it gets really uh, cotton candy-ish in the summer. I know. In the summer, when it, uh, yeah, I'm in Los Angeles, so I deal with the heat all the time, so, yeah. That's why I had to go to extreme measures to keep it from getting crazy. I don't mind the big, big hair. I like it, actually, but it's just too much. It's hot, you know, really hot weather. I like to be able to put it in a ponytail, you know what I mean? I have blow it up. Yeah, blowing it out. Yeah, but it takes some. That's why I have to put the, you know, the regular perm in there because I get tired of blowing it out and straightening it all the freaking time. It's freaking annoying. Go crazy. I don't know what you're talking about in the comment section. You are just acting out today. We're just going to ignore that for now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Biden forcefully defends Afghanistan withdrawal. I was not going... <sighs> I don't got time for Biden right now. Anyway, any other questions aside for here? <laughs> yeah, as you get older, it does start curling up. Yeah, it does. Um, Stallings, it does. Mm -hmm. It's just a regular live q and I'm not talking about anything. It's supposed to have been on my Patreon. But I couldn't get the connection to work right on my Patreon. I don't know how I'm going to do that whole patron thing. I just wanted to get a nice little private chat with my patroners. You know, a little one-on-one Q&A. But whatever, i work on that right now. Yeah. It's just too much to think about. <clears throat> but when you guys get a chance, definitely go back and um, check that out. My um, live feed for, you know, that. Any other questions? I know a lot of you was saying, I hope you're okay and things of that nature. Yes, I'm okay. But do, if you didn't catch it earlier, do um, expect some changes in my private life within the next three months. So I'll definitely let my patrons know firsthand what's going on. Y'all be the first people to know what's going on. Just to FYI. Soon as I figure out how to do the live feed for, you know, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do that. 
So I guess I have to figure that out. Oh, my website. Oh, my gosh. I do have a website. Oh, shoot. Here's a crazy story, right? I go daddy, right? I had go daddy and I was just on there. I don't even know what the heck I was doing on there. I was just messing around with the website thing and they still have my information and long story short, they took the money out of my account and yeah, I need to set that up, but I do have a website. Oh, add that to the freaking list of things I have to do. So I have to get that set up. My blog, I completely just abandoned because I can't afford to pay for that again. But in a matter of time before they start charging me again for that stupid blog. I only got paid one time on that blog. And I had that blog for two years. So that was a disappointment. Yes, my Patreon is monthly. Subscription is only $2. I have books on there. Unlisted videos. You guys have to understand, I have over a thousand videos, and only 70% of those videos or less have been accepted on um, my YouTube platforms. I am currently going through all my unlisted videos, and I was going to put them on my Patreon. But you know, Vimo is not free. You have to pay for Vimo. So, just give it a good week or so, and I have all my unlisted videos that got denied and took taken down by YouTube on my um, Patreon. So there are a lot of deep videos on my patrons. You should definitely, definitely be a member. It's only $2 a month. I'm not trying to get rich. I just want to express a lot of things. And YouTube always block me. So I can't really express anything. You know, they flag it and no one, no one sees it. Like my last, last live feed, I didn't even know it was unlisted. Which sucks. I, I didn't even know it was unlisted. Until after the feed ended. <laughs> You know, but anyway, but my patron is open expression, it's unfiltered, it's me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> That's what it is. If you guys want to know my marriage status, I've been married since 2010, so it's going on 11 years in November. I have a daughter, she's currently in college. Don't ask me my age. <laughs> I'm glad you um caught me live too. People like you I hate. I hate blacks. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just hide Mr. Go Crazy here because he's acting kind of crazy. Thank you for joining. But we just, you know, going to remove you for now until you decide to come back and play fair. Okay. But thank you for joining my feed, but you know, you, you on a whole nother subject and we're not doing that in this. This is not that kind of vibe, honey. Mm -mm, no. I know. I was telling my daughter, I said it's not in the thousands or anything, but it was still the highest I've had. You know, I haven't been doing this live feed for a while. And considering I'm a truth speaker, I'm not really expecting for it to be in the thousands because they're not trying for it to be that way. You know what I mean? I know, I know, I know, Stalins. I didn't want it to be on here. I wanted it to be on my page. I got to figure that out. Along with the list of other things I have to figure out. Like my website that they took out of my bank account to pay for. And I haven't even set it up yet because I forgot that I even had this stupid thing. So, I have to set that up. Put that on the list. <laughs> Along with updating my patron. <laughs> and editing videos and juggling. You got to understand, I'm juggling all of this myself. And working a full-time job. I don't have help. I don't no, no one helping me at all. Social media account, all of it, no one's helping me, me, me. And I'm doing it mostly for free because YouTube is not paying me a lot of money. And I know I shouldn't say that, but it's the truth. I do it because I care about everyone and I want to help out as much as possible. You know. That's the main reason I'm doing it. I mean, if it was for financial reasons, I would have stopped this a long time ago and seriously shut down all of my channels because I'm not getting paid from a lot of them anyway. Not a lot of money. Not balling out of control like some people they're they able to buy houses, start vineyards, buy cars and they balling out of control. I wish. Nope, I work very hard for my stuff. You have three jobs? Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your dating life. What is your preference? Are you 
this is Ms. Original. If you don't see the comment in there, her comment. Do you prefer men or women? How about you call if you want? If you want to call, we can speak right quick. I can use an intern. I could definitely use someone to, gosh, emails. I try to get my daughter to do it, but she's busy doing her own thing. But I can really use someone to operate my social media. You know how many social media accounts I get and, and, and direct messages and emails? I get sponsors. But it's hard to fulfill the sponsors. I got a call. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Hold on for a sec. I'm going to take my earbud off. I forgot I had it on. Whoever called, just go ahead and call back because I forgot I have my earbud on. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but yes, I can definitely use an intern because um, I need someone to navigate and manage my social media accounts and emails and stuff because I can't keep up. I'm always on my phone all the time and I can be doing other things. You know, then on my phone, I'm at work in meetings. I'm like on my phone. <laughs> it's not good. You know, boss hates it, but whatever. What can you do? <clears throat> yeah. I need a team with somebody. Okay. Ask for the call here. Oops. Hi, you live with Keisha. Oops, sorry. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you live with Keisha. How you doing? Thanks for calling. Hi. Thanks for calling. Who am I yeah, this is Keisha. Hello, can you hear me? Hey, hello? Yes, you're live with Keisha. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm watching you now. That's like, it's not showing that I'm talking to you on, on the, uh, phone so uh no but you can they can definitely hear Hello? you yeah i'm sure they can hear you Hello? i can't really hear you i might have to go back in the chat oh you said you can't hear me no i can't hear you okay well i can hear you i can't hear you oh how are you answering it's me then quiet. It's like it's an echo at the same time. Oh, yeah. Turn down your um, TV or phone or something so it won't be an echo. Got it. Okay. Is that better? Let's try this again. Can you hear me? Yes, it is better. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yes, I made the comment about the three jobs and oh, the school sorry. and my daily life sucks. So. Oh, yeah. oh, three jobs. Oh, I've been there. I've been there <laughs> with the three jobs. Um. So, your is your preference male or female, and are you in school? Do you have kids? Just give me a little brief recap. No, I'm in my 20s. I'm in my late 20s. Um, no kids. I'm in school studying two different majors, finance and criminology. Um, men is definitely my preference. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, criminology. It. Wow. That's amazing. Are you trying to be a cop or, or you want to work in... The forensic department? The forensic department. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You, you want to work in forensic department? You do know what kind of stuff you see in the forensic department, right? Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. I'm okay. definitely prepared for that. Well, congratulations. I say stick at it. And you said your preference is um, men. You. So have you been on any dates? Yeah. <sighs> That's the problem. The last guy that I talked to, um, he recently passed away in, the, in my birthday month, actually, um, last month. Um, so after that, I haven't really been the same. I've tried to date one line, but it seems like it doesn't go anywhere, like uh, Bumble. Oh, yeah. Online is definitely, it could definitely be an issue. Because a lot of people hide their truth selves behind, um, you know, phones and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, it's a lot of deception going on online. That's definitely true. Exactly. 
So what kind of guy are you looking for, though? Give me, you know, your list. I know people say lists are not good, but I'm sure you have a list. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have a preference. Um, unfortunately, I do look at looks sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm not a short person, but I do want a man that is tall, mm -hmm. <laughs> not a short man. Mm -hmm. um, he definitely has to be uh, financially stable. Um, kind of like in the same direction I am. If he's not in school... He's already established. Uh, he's had degrees um, and something uh, that that will bring in some type of income. Um, uh, what else? He has to be looking for a relationship. I know a lot of people around my age, they're looking for, like, friends with benefits. I don't particularly agree with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, a little difficult to find kind of like that. But that area where they're, they're educated, they're, you know, well-balanced, they're not looking for a fling or one-night stand, which it seems like everybody's looking for. Um, yeah, not not to, I don't know. What about race? I mean, you have a particular race that you're seeking because that's important. A lot of people don't date all races, and that's completely understandable. Do you have that as well, or just no preference? Um... See, if you had spoken, if we spoke before, I would have said, yes, I have a preference, and that would have been my own kind, which is, you know, someone of my hue, a black male. Um, over the years, that has changed since I'm starting to see a lot of black men be disrespectful towards black women with mm. the trick daddies and him saying, you should drink bleach and you should do this and do that. And uh, 50 Cent calling people darks and having uh, his co-stars fight each other, just seeing all of that drama and then my own personal issues that I've had with black men. Um, uh, I'm open to anything. <laughs> okay. Well, I, honestly, I would say, considering your age group, it might be a problem. Um, a lot of yeah. men around your age are still finding themselves, and they're not ready to settle down. And I'm assuming you just want to court and date or are you just trying to get married and really settle down? Are you looking for a serious relationship or you just want to date around? No, I'm actually looking for a serious relationship. I know what I'm looking for. So oh, okay. I can kind of tell when, when I meet that guy. Well, I mean, good luck. On, I'm be honest with you. Good luck on trying to find men your age who's really looking to settle down now. Um, that's yeah. unless you, you could probably find some decent black men to settle down or any race. But I, honestly... When I was around your age and the serious guys that I ran into, I had to run, in, run into them in places that are not normal for pickup scenes. Um, at the time, I was heavy in church, and I went to the library a lot. I went to the museum. I went to places where I know men actually read. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely important. <laughs> You know, you gotta go. You have to go to places where there are a lot of dignified, hardworking men. You know, like you. You you know, you work very hard. You're very independent, and they're not gonna always be black. Most of them are probably white, depending on where you go. So that's what I say. Get out there and go to places where these men are educated and they're independent, and they're looking for someone just like you. Do you go to the library? Do you go to the museum or the church? Or? Yes, I love reading. I love reading. I love reading. I read for fun. Um, okay. And that's the thing. I go to these places, but it seems like they're intimidated by me. Oh well, they're intimidated. That's that's a start. When you okay, when you start a conversation with a young man, what do you you don't start interrogating him like you're a cop or anything, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean. How do you speak with them? Do you say, oh, hi, how you doing? Or you sit next to them, make them joke, make a joke or something. And I mean, a lot of men get intimidated by women who look like they're about to cross-examine them or something. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I, I, I hope I don't give off that uh, vibe. But, no, I mean, if I see them, you know, I say, hey, what's going on? And how you doing? And I kind of look at whatever they're doing. And then they all, oh, well, I'm interested in that, too. What, what book are you reading if it's? If it's that, or I'm a gamer too, um, so I talk about games, and I know a lot of guys like games. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I come off like that. I hope I don't, but 
I know I have a serious face. A lot of people say I have a serious face, but I mean, I don't walk around all giddy all the time. But yeah, like, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't you, know. Well, you may need to start smiling more. I mean, if you have the, you may be available, but if you have the big X you on your forehead, you know, don't talk to me. <laughs> They're not going to talk to you. <laughs> You have to be approachable. Right. That's why that certain individual in the room, even though she's probably available and not available, well, a lot of men gravitate toward her because she has this luring spirit. Oh, she can come talk to me about anything, and a man feels he can, like he can be himself. You got to have that inviting spirit, but with limitations, of course. And of course, and they can definitely sense that. So I'll say, smile more, smile more, chat more, joke. The way to a man's heart is to make him feel comfortable and friendly, be on the friend side. I mean, you have to have that communication definitely. You know what I mean? And if the communication yeah, is I, good, I think that was my issue. The yeah. guys that I did talk to that where I kind of almost got there, mm -hmm. it seemed like they always bring it back to that that physical part that they're looking for so quickly. And I'm like, um, how do we skip the friendship part? And you want the benefits without really working hard to get it. So uh, I think that's where my issue lies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Communication has to be there. It has to be a friendly communication where the the partner can feel that he or she can speak to you about anything, you know. So I, I would say definitely do that. And just go to, like, like they said in the chat room, you can find love anywhere. I mean, I met my husband while I was working at McDonald's. <laughs> I was working at McDonald's. That's not uncommon. I know. It was crazy. I was working at McDonald's, and I was a cashier. He he was coming in there every day getting coffee. I didn't even know why he was coming in there getting coffee. I thought he was just a annoying man coming in there getting coffee all the time. And <laughs> I was ready to quit my job, and he was there. And I was like, I'm looking for another job. He was like, oh, okay, well, you know, we're hiring a KFC. So, you know, the rest is the rest, pretty much. But at the time, I had a lot of men coming on to me, you know, and it was buying me things and stuff like that. So I guess I had that inviting spirit. It's like every time I come here, you're smiling. You're always smiling. Smiling is good. Even though you're in pain, just still smile, you know. And yeah. that would definitely help a lot in your dating life smile a lot. Well, I do have one more question. I Let's just say I do all of that, but I'm only attracting men who are way older than me. Like, I mean, I was going to tell you that, too. <laughs> what do you do? I was going to tell you that because you, that's why I asked you your age group, and I told you a lot of men around your age are finding themselves just like you. You, you might have to go yeah. a little older. Oh, God. <laughs> no, father's not going to be too happy. Well, not old gray and wrinkly but um <laughs> first of all <clears throat> no offense to my men who are listening by the way um the maturity level in women and men not all men now are different okay even though a man is in his 30s doesn't mean he's acting like he's in his 30s okay even though a man in his 40s is not acting like he's in his 40s so you know what i mean so yeah. just because you go older doesn't mean it's going to be that kind of relationship. But you might have to go a little older if you're looking to settle down because a lot of men around your age are not trying to settle down, being okay. honest. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, smile more, be more inviting. Don't have that serious look on your face because then they're going to be afraid to approach you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> and don't okay. be afraid to go Thank outside you. your race too. Do your thing, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye. Yes. Bye. All right. Thank you. Okay. Someone tried calling me before, and I don't know what happened there. I'm going to try calling her back. Now, what are you talking about being pointless? Yes, it's some great black men out there. I, yes, I know. I know. I was trying to be diverse people. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm not sure who this is, but they want me to call him back, so I'm calling him back. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Please try your call again Okay. Later. I guess whoever that is is at work, so. 
Anyway. But yeah, in terms of the dating life, being happy, having that alluring, happy spirit, even though you had a really effed up day, having that inviting spirit would definitely get you very far. When I was, like I said, I was talking to her when I was working at McDonald's. I was working there and I guess I had a really big inviting spirit. I was always smiling and I wasn't happy because I wasn't happy at all. But I was smiling and a lot of the men came in there around Valentine's Day buying me gifts and dropping off gifts and things of that nature. I didn't know who the heck they were. I know they used to come in all the time. You know how even them old men that comes in around the same time drinking coffee and they sit in the same corner? And I used to, you know, clean off the tables and I chat. I'm a really chattable person, very friendly and goofy, funny. And and I tease them and stuff and laugh and things. And I was like, what you doing on Valentine's Day, Keisha? Working. I know, sucks. Yeah. You have a boyfriend? You know, any gifts? I'm like, I don't know. I'm working. <laughs> and they start buying me gifts. So... Having that alluring, inviting spirit can definitely attract a lot of attentions and of all races, too. I've dated black, white, Mexican men before. Okay. You don't... You Hi. live with Keisha. Who am I speaking with? Hi, Keisha. Who is this? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. It, it sounds a little far away, but I definitely can hear you. Okay, uh, yeah, I have the microphone for the computer near my iPad so people can hear you. So I'm sorry, I'll just go a little closer. Okay. <clears throat> All right, tell no, me your it's name. Good. It's <laughs> How have you been? I just wanted to call and thank you for everything that you do. Um, I think you are, mm -hmm. like, very educational especially for black women and honestly like everybody like everything that you do and everything that you put out I see the hard work that you put into it mm -hmm. and how focused you are <laughs> and I know Thank it's you. hard and I think that you should probably want be one of the top YouTubers okay <laughs> like, I should seriously. be but you know how that goes thank you thank you for your support and thank you for your compliments too I appreciate it it's nice to hear that too sometimes <laughs> no problem at all I um I wanted to call in today to talk about you know I know we're talking about relationships and things like that mm -hmm. um I'm not afraid my name is G <laughs> I've nice been to subscribed you. to you for a minute now, um, Thank you. and I know um, I've been so excited just to see you more live and everything like that with working and the whole monotony of life and things like that. It's so awesome to see someone that you kind of, you know, it really admire, you know, just to go live and give your input and your knowledge to everyone, mm -hmm. um, and it's just been great. Thank you. Like, overall, the video you did with um, Jane Elliott says <laughs> that You like that video? video? Oh, my was, gosh. Girl. I mean, on point, on point. And I used to look at when I saw some of her studies before I'm a teacher. So, oh, okay. you know, I saw some of her studies before, and I always thought it was the opposite, but actually opposite of what you, but you broke it down in a way to show that, like, that minority group how when they were ostracized, how they just almost were like dictators, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw the videos. Right? <laughs> and it's amazing how their so whole demeanor it shifted. it was just awesome for that breakdown and mm -hmm. um, all the videos that you've lately been putting out, you know, the blue-eyed and the brown-eyed and how that, Thank you me. know, really resonates right now and the things that we're going through in life right now, mm -hmm. um, everything that we're seeing right now. Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I'm really and, glad. Yeah. Um, I also want to talk about relationships and things like Go that. Um, I'm 42. I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> How you doing, Aquarius sister? <laughs> yes. Yes, my Aquarius sister. How you doing? And this is the whole dating thing. Um, once you become a certain age, mm. I think it's a problem with emotional intelligence. Mm. Preach. That we're dealing with um, a lot of the men that I've dated, whether they're black or white, it's that emotional intelligence that has been so hard to <laughs> be.
deal with with any man, okay? Oh, yeah. You know I know. You know, so um, I think it's what you get in your head and having your standards and what you're going to put up with and what you're not going to put up with, and that's with any man that you date, right? Yeah. Um, I also feel that black women, um, we just, it's hard for us. And I think people don't understand. I live in Atlanta, girl. Okay. Oh, yeah. You've well, got some nice yeah. men out there in Atlanta, right? Yes. Okay. I know so. so, you know, I decided not to even date anymore. You know, I decided I'm just focusing on my career, my son, um, my healing as well. You know, mm-hmm. whatever childhood traumas I've had, things like that, working on myself because. At this point, it's just been so difficult to find a mate with some emotional intelligence. Um, it's just been very, very difficult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can imagine. What is your preference? You know, yes. give me some stats in terms Pardon? of what you're looking for. Can you hear me, Keisha? Yes, I can hear you. I was asking you, I said, give me some stats. Of what is your preferences and what you're looking for? Um, Like I said before, I dated outside of my race, I really don't call a preference a preference because a preference is that you like the majority of things, but you like one thing more specifically. Okay. So it doesn't matter if he's big, small, short, Asian, Korean. I like men, period. (laughs) I just like men and um, someone that is going to bring some benefit in my life just like I'm going to bring benefits into their life as well um but I'm sorry most men out here these days it's just like what can you do for me and like this whole thing now what you got to bring to the table is I'm a woman like (laughs) that could definitely be a problem um because yeah our men out here are especially if you're looking for a black man our men out here their advantages is a little bit shrinkish than black women if you haven't noticed and they have Mm -hmm. they need a strong sister like you i'm assuming you are black right yes i am black (laughs) and proud (laughs) okay they need a strong sister like you and you can't be afraid to get a man with a dream first of all he don't have to be financially at your level but he definitely have to be driven he definitely got to have a dream and he, he, he definitely don't mind hard work and you can help him build that dream um i think that's where a lot of women go wrong they try to look for a man who's already established and making all this money and blah 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 it's nothing wrong with getting a man who's not that fin- at that financial level with you but emotionally he's there he's driven he has this motivation he has his dream and he's a good man you know you being a strong woman can definitely definitely help him achieve whatever goal he's mm-hmm. trying to reach and y'all can build together vice versa if it, the shoe you know the shoe was on the other foot don't be afraid to get a man who's not that established there's a lot of men who rides the bus or the train whatever and they got a good job or job they're tolerating anyway then they're a good man but they just can't mm-hmm. find a good woman because hey, they don't have a car and you got to have a car. He probably can't afford a car right now. But he's a good man, you know. But, you know, women are, they have a shallow way sometimes. So, I say if it's not destined for you to find someone who's at your level, above your level, maybe it's destined for you to find that man who is at your emotional level, but not yet financially at your level right now. But once you get together, both of you can build that empire and that level together. So you may have to right. go there, but make sure he's not trifling. But, um, but Keisha, I've done that before. Like I said, I'm 42, so I've had numerous relationships. <laughs> and I tried that, like a couple of relationships. Okay, he's not, maybe not at my level. The last time I did that, I was actually giving him um, money for rent because we were living together. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to build together. Do you know that fool was taking the blank money orders and signing it over to himself and cashing it? What? Like, yes, girl. <laughs> it, I'm, I, hold up. Was he around your age? Was this a young man or old man? No, we, we were like four years apart. Like, <laughs> you might have, oh, girl. Mm. 
I'm assuming was he black? And, you know, white? I got him a job at one of the schools I was working for. I was um, basically a, a financial counselor, so I got him a job there. I knew he was in school trying to better himself, doing things like that. So I was like, I got your back, you know. He had one son. He didn't have a slew of kids. That's so good. I'm like, I got you. I had one son. He had one son. We were going to do the damn thing, right? Right. This fool, and then on top of that, he was cheating on me, and the girl called my job. How did she get all of my information? You're cheating, and now this woman has all of my information. What? Like, this messy. Girl, you, you got a bad one right there. You got a bad one right girl, there. Girl, and I think he, like, scarred me a little bit, because I'm like, I don't trust you. None of y'all. Like, after well, don't that, let one man like, still like smile more. Mm-hmm. And I've always been that type of person, very outgoing, smiling more, easy to get along with. You know, I can be there's, your friend and your lover. There's you know, always so. signs in the beginning, though, that he's like this. I mean, was he staying with his mom? What, what was? How was he before? You know, he was a military guy. Mil. Oh man, I've been with a military man. Oh yes. Yeah. I don't know what the heck they do to Tim in the military. Oh, I dated a couple military guys, and it didn't, it didn't, it didn't great. <laughs> Not no offense to my um, veterans, mm-hmm. love y'all, but just saying the ones I've dated just weren't nice at all. Okay, so here's what I suggest. First of all, mm-hmm. consider your maturity level and tolerance level because right now in your 40s your tolerance level is not as high as it used to be and it gets lower no, as you my get older. Is done. yeah <laughs> completely understand your tolerance level and you don't got time for that nonsense so you're going to have to find a man who is a little older you might have to go 10 years older mm-hmm. i did that too yes that was the massive dick was broke let me finish let me finish <laughs> and you're going to have to look for these people in very unique places so they may have you may have to do a little what I'm saying dressing up or step stepping out of your comfort zone. Okay, you have to attract these men that you're trying to meet. Sometimes you do have to adapt to their environment. Okay, and right. you may have to play the role of a gigolo, not a gigolo per se, but the things about gigolos are that they study the people they're with. Their dislikes, whatever they like, they try to study that. That way, when they go out in public, they're able to adapt to whatever public environment they're in. So, for example, you're looking for a CEO or a district manager or some guy who has his job and got a condo somewhere in downtown or whatever. You are going to have to be what this man is looking for. Are those the kind of guys you're looking for right now? Considering you seem to be very intelligent and your tolerance level is definitely low and you already have your foundation established already. You're just looking for someone to build some kind of future with. Am I correct? You're very correct. Okay. So what I suggest is you are going to have to play that role. Okay. Confidence is definitely one of the key factors. I say start mimicking some of these women, these big ballers, if you want to call them. I don't like ballers. You know, I like men with credit cards and stuff, not money and chains right. and stuff like that. <laughs> so you're going to have to present this kind of forefront, okay? Um, mm-hmm. Red a suit, the heels, talk nice, go to those restaurants they go to. Go to those little high little monkey mock restaurants. Find one of your girlfriends who is good at role playing, so to speak and good at acting, go to those restaurants that they hang in for lunch all the time. There are, they are out there, especially in Atlanta. Go out there, go to those restaurants, eat, mingle, whatever. You're going to definitely run into someone. And if you can't do that, go to the gym. A lot of these little, whatever, they go to the gym bright early in the morning. Go to the gym mm-hmm. and start conversating there. You know, they see, oh, she go to the gym. She has a job. She has a car. Huh, let me holler at her right quick. You know, and start mingling. You have to mingle. You're so right, because I am an introvert. <laughs> I know. And I, can I tell. tend to, like, stay at home. I love, you know, being at home and cooking and just being in my personal space. I feel safer. I understand, um, especially going nowadays. Going to the city, it's like traffic, and I'll be like, oh, I, I would, would like to do that. And I do get invited to places. And, and go. Um. Like I said, I have friends of all different cultures, and I get invited to places. And, you know, with the whole 
so-called COVID and all of that, I've been kind of just very reserved and just at a standstill, you know. So I do. I need to get out more. I know that about myself. I do. Yes, yes. You're going to have to get out more and you're going to have to go a little bit outside of your comfort zone, okay? And considering you're looking for an upgrade, so to speak, from your last relationship, that means you're going to have to go to those areas where that upgrade is. And you're going to have to adapt to the people mm -hmm. that are in that area, okay? And find a girlfriend mm -hmm. or whoever who can adapt to that environment. She's probably looking for someone herself and start chatting. No matter what race, doesn't matter what age, kind of, have your limits, though. And, and I guarantee mm -hmm. you, once you do that, you're going to start getting some numbers and, and things of that nature. And you're set. Right. You're just going to have to play the role. Honestly, it's acting. Yeah. I know that's fake. I know. <laughs> I know it's fake, but it works. Personally speaking, it works. It works. So pull out those mm -hmm. little nice little jeans or heels and go to those restaurants where you see a whole bunch of little uppity up people with these great jobs and stuff like that. And they speak perfect diction and their credits are great and they they have some sense. Go there, eat your lunch, be civilized, blend in, and you do that, I guarantee you. Do that on a regular, like you've been doing this for a long time. You're going to attract some attention, and your dating card is going to be full. And this time next year, you're going to be like, Keisha, thank you for your advice. Watch. Yes, yeah, just fake it till I make it, huh, Keisha? <laughs> okay, I guarantee it. And you might even, it might help you emotionally, too. You probably feel a little bit better about yourself after that, after you start hanging around those kind of people, you know? You never know. Do you hang with You're your so co- right. Do you go to the lounge or something with your teachers, your co-teachers? I'm assuming you guys probably do virtual still. Or are y'all back in class now? Right now, I'm working in healthcare. I was doing teaching, and then I moved to healthcare. So right now, I'm working in healthcare, and my hours are crazy. And mm -hmm. you deal with so much again with this. You know what's going on with everything. <laughs> okay. So it's like you're so exhausted from that throughout the day. You just kind of want to come home and be in your space and relax, and you know. Yeah, but you just can, let all of that go. <laughs> that's true. That's true. But if you were trying to get into an emotional relationship or relationship, it's work to get there. And once you get there, then you yeah. can relax. So you got to put in the work. You're right. You're right. And my sister, she's a cop, and Take you know her. they she's all single? hang out. And so when I do go out, I'm with them and great spaces but she's overprotective so she don't let none of the cops talk to me like that's not gonna happen <laughs> so you know you can take her i am in these spaces and everything but it's like you know that thing like okay what you gonna be about you know like mm -hmm. oh god <laughs> i hear you i hear you but with, with, if you're looking for a ball you're gonna have to yeah, you're going to have to get into that ram of the level there. And I know it's shallow and it's not fair, but it's how the world works. So if you're looking for someone of that right. magnitude, you're going to have to be inviting for them to even want to speak to you. And you already have your foundation. They just need to see it. So package it up so they can see it. You know what I mean? And then... And then nice little bow. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then let the rest flow after that. You know, just go ahead. Take your cop friend with you. She she don't want you talking to her colleagues. Take her <laughs> take her to these restaurants and stuff without her cop uniform, you know. And start <laughs> yeah, start hanging out. You know, know where the spot is. Don't go to ghetto clubs of these trifling dudes. No, you need to go to civilized clubs. You might have to spend a little money, but civilized mm -hmm. clubs. Okay? So, once you do that, I guarantee you'll be fine. And then, once you get there, try to find the it crowd. There's an it crowd of females who hangs at these clubs. Try to get in cahoots with them as well. Once you get in cahoots and their clicks, you're in. You're yeah. right. I just really need to open them more. And it, I don't know, like, over these past couple, with everything in the world that's just going on, it's almost like I've become a recluse. Like, you're not the only one. I'm Me too. Like, stay away from me. I'm going to do what I need to do. Take care of my son. Me and too. <laughs> You know, <laughs> get everything else. Like me too. Yeah, me too. So I need to focus on me and my son's getting older, and yeah. 
Yeah. You know, it's not so much as just being a mommy all the every second. Yeah. <laughs> you have the freedom now. Now so, you can live for yourself. Do it. Yes. You may even have fun. Introvert. It's time for you to be an extrovert. <laughs> I love to read. Like I just give me a book and <laughs> Oh, oh girl, I'm good. <laughs> I love to read too. Library is my friend. I love the library. I you first of all, your likes is what I like right now. But right, I want to do something else now. I'm tired of doing it. You know, I want to get out myself. So I understand what you're saying completely. But yeah, it's like a rut. Like, it I is. Get out of this rut. <laughs> yes, and that's how you gonna get out of the rut. You probably even start having fun. You know, and be addicted to the whole thing and you'd be pretty much open to a whole new life that you didn't even know that was there you probably e even find things about yourself that you didn't even know that you had in you you know because you know you're a very intelligent woman you start talking to these women and start cohabitating with them and y'all going to lunch together and stuff stuff like that and they introduce you to ceo or president or whoever and you'd be like wow wow because you're already intelligent enough to keep up a conversation with these people. That's not the point. You just got to meet them. You know, and they're not going to. Exactly. So <laughs> that's why you have to adapt to this thing. You're going to have to play the role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little acting. So do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it, girl. I'm you better do it. it. Darn it. I'm going to check up on you, too. <laughs> you better do it. Okay? And it's the holidays. <laughs> holidays are coming up. This is the perfect yeah. time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Keisha. You are so awesome. Everything You're welcome. that you do. You're I'm welcome. a Patreon too and I support you. Oh, and everything thank you. you do. Thank you. And <laughs> I've learned so much from you. You challenge the mind. You challenge everything. Um, oh, thanks. It's like what Aquarius is saying. You had put up a post one time. It's like, this is an Aquarius with all those people standing in the back and you're like the only one. Oh, <laughs> that's like, me every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day. Well, Good yeah. luck to you, okay? Please do Thank you, what Jesus. I suggest. Please. Please. Okay? I will do what you said. I'm going to make it happen. Like, my sister's having a barbecue this weekend, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're supposed to go out. So, I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> okay. This is the time for you. I know people say don't be bougie, but you have that bougie attitude where you're looking for someone who has their shit together. Excuse my language. So, you have to be bougie. Okay? There's nothing wrong with having standards. Nothing wrong with having yeah. standards. You did what the, you you were you weren't bougie before. You were compromising before, and you know and lenient. Okay, I'm not lenient anymore. I had enough of the lenient. The lenient is dead. I'm getting old. Damn it. Okay. Yes. And I came from Chicago, girl. So you know I didn't have a life. Okay. okay? <laughs> so you like I, I'm I'm tired. Hell. So you go ahead and do what you got to do, and be bougie. Have your standards, but you have to play the role. You have to fake it up. You know, so fake it up. But it probably won't even be faking. It'll just be you. You know, you're just being who you are and not settling. So it may not even be faking. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that because you probably haven't stepped out of that comfort zone yet. But you do that you're and you'll right, be fine. <laughs> be you. Be you at the highest standard that you want to be because that's who you are. It's not faking. But this time you can actually be it without feeling ashamed. So do it. That's all I have to mm -hmm. say. Okay? Do it. I will do it, girl. <laughs> you better do it and tell me how it's going to. Don't forget to drop a text or something and let me know how it's going. <laughs> for sure. Thank you for everything you do, sis. Like, you're wonderful. No, nope. Thank you. No problem. Love you. Bye. Love you more. Bye. Bye. Okay, that's the last call. It's, oh, God, it's late. Um, um, uh, tomorrow. Patron, if I can get it together. I'm going to end it here. I love you guys.